so today we're going to be talking about the differences between single stage, two stage, and variable capacity equipment, otherwise known as variable speed. Uh, and for, before we get started on that, I think I should talk about design conditions. So climates play a big role in how we size systems. So a heating and air conditioning contractor in Arizona is sizing their, their equipment completely differently than we are here in Washington. And um, so we actually have a book called Manual J, and that gives us our design conditions for our specific area. So I'm going to use a rough example here and say that uh, we're going to be talking about heating season and heat pumps only in this video just to make things simple, but a lot of these apply throughout different pieces of equipment. Um, so let's talk about an area where we have a 20 degree Fahrenheit design temperature in heating season. And this does not mean that we're consistently 20 degrees in this area. This just means this is kind of a worst case scenario actually. This is typically less than 5% of the time that we're going to see 20 degrees, but we still want to size our equipment so that we have that heating capability when it does hit 20 degrees outside. Um, so let's say in that same climate, typically, a typical day is about 45 degrees. And this is actually pretty close to what we see here in Bellingham and Whatcom County. So our average day is about 45 degrees in heating season. Well, at 20 degrees, your home, this is depending on the house, depending on insulation levels, the types of windows you have, uh, how leaky the house is, how much air infiltration is getting in, etc. But depending on the house, let's say that this house at 20 degrees Fahrenheit requires 40,000 BTUs of heat to maintain 70 degrees indoor temperature. Well, at 45 degrees, that house only needs 20,000 BTUs to maintain 70 degrees. So, the majority of the time, our equipment is actually way oversized. And that's the reality with single speed equipment. We're either 100% on or 100% off. And uh, so for this home, maybe we have a 40,000 BTU capable system, but really we only need 20,000 for the majority of the time the system's running. So that brings us to this little chart here. And for all intents and purposes, our black line here, which is flat and linear, is our indoor air set temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature we want to be able to maintain in the home. So with that, I thought I'd start with single stage equipment. A single stage uh, is outlined here in red. And a single stage piece of equipment is pretty simple to understand. It's either 100% on or 100% off. So when we have a call for heat, we're going to actually overshoot that 70 degree mark by about three degrees and then we're gonna wait until we drop below our set temperature by about three degrees before we kick back on again. And the reason we do this is because we don't want that equipment constantly turning on and off. That kills mechanical components. So really what we have, and this is kind of a generality again, we have big temperature swings inside the house because that system's either 100% on or 100% off. It's like if you didn't have an accelerator for your car, you just had a button that was on and off and you were in stop and go traffic. So that's what you're dealing with with single stage equipment. Uh, two stage, which I've depicted here by this blue line. So two stage generally, we have about 70% capacity and 100% capacity. So typically we're going to be running at 70% capacity. So for the majority of the time that equipment's in use, 70% capacity. So we're going to see a little bit less of a temperature differential here. So we might overshoot by a degree and a half, maybe two degrees, and then wait until we drop maybe a degree and a half, two degrees below before we kick back on again. And like I said, the majority of the time we're gonna be operating in that first stage at 70% 70 70 capacity until we need that extra heat, and then we kick it up into full gear. So with that, we'll go to our green line here, which is indicating our variable speed or variable capacity equipment. And variable speed equipment typically, and again, this differs based on equipment type, brand, etc. typically you're gonna have anywhere between 40% capacity 
and 100% capacity in tiny increments in between those numbers. So what this is doing, basically we're able to, our thermostat is communicating with our equipment, and we're able to ride really, really close to this 70 degree line, maybe even within half a degree on either side. So what that means is longer run times, and because we have longer run times, our fan is running more, and our fan is variable speed too, so we're running at lower speed, which means less noise, we're filtering more air because we're moving more air in the house, and our outdoor equipment on these systems are a lot quieter than your typical two-stage and single-stage equipment. They're also more efficient. So there's a lot of benefits to variable speed. Hopefully this helps, and thanks for watching.